All right, let's revisit our top story tonight. And the Cabinet Secretary for Health, Dr. Cleopa Mailu, has informed the Kenyan nation that the health workers' strike could not be resolved today because the process of seeking consensus will take a while. This came as doctored representatives walked out of uh, the talks that they had late evening, even as the government promised that meetings will continue. I want to say the discussions are progressing. However, it's unfortunate we have not reached a point where we can say we have concluded our discussion to a point where we can say reprieve can be found to Kenyans who are suffering. The words from the men at the heart of the attempts to hammer out a deal with the health workers, perhaps not what Kenyans had been hoping for on the second day of a painful and dire situation in Kenya's hospitals. Some of those issues can easily be solved. All eyes are now on Afia House, almost one month after doctors gave the warning that they would down their tools to press for the implementation of the collective bargaining agreement around the country, chaos in the health sector. From Mombasa, Nyeri, Baringo, Kisumu to Makueni, tales of pain, anguish and hopelessness as the doctors and nurses strike entered the second day. Patients in dire need of medical attention, others deserted in hospitals and forced to go home or seek help in private hospitals. In Eldred, the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospitals Renal Unit providing some ray of hope for patients undergoing dialysis, some traveling from as far as Narok and Kakamega. Nimetoka Kakamega County. Nimekuja kufanya dialysis huku kwa sababu kakamega hospitali imefungwa kuna madaktari. In Busia, doctors took to the streets as their union officials sought a solution at Afia House. Sources tell KTN that State House sent two top officials to Afia House. But just like the Monday talks, there was no consensus. When we talk about negotiation, we are not talking about uh, renegotiating a document that was already signed and agreed upon. We are talking about how it will be implemented and how and when we get the arrears that are owed to us for the last three years. The CBA for a 300% pay increase was signed in June 2013. With no way forward from Afia House, the doctors are standing their ground. Doctors will remain on strike until such a day, until such a time that the collective bargaining agreement that we signed with the government of Kenya on the 27th of June 2013, and that was effective on the 1st of July 2013, is fully implemented and is paid in arrears of three years. The doctor's strike, just one headache for the government. Nurses too have their demands for harmonization of salaries. We are telling our members <coughs> that consultations are here to take over. They should pull up their socks, tighten their belts. Even if it is going to take us 100 years on the streets, we will be on the streets until the government does one thing. Sign a harmonized collective bargaining agreement, period. With doctors and nurses vying to stay away from hospitals for as long as it takes, the crisis in public hospitals is only bound to get worse. Rita Tinina. KTN News.